on. Calvin Johnson had arguably the best performance of the season. They went on to beat the Bears 34 to 17. And with that, the Lions kept their playoff hopes alive. Guys, was this more about good Lions or bad Bears defense? Stephen A? Um, I think it was a combination of both. And the reason why I say that, rather than just pouring, you know, wh whatever it is on wh whatever you want to call Chicago's defense, uh, the fact is Megatron was Megatron. He was back. He looked healthy. Uh, he, he, he had a big-time game, 11 receptions for over 145 yards. He was absolutely sensational uh, yesterday in his performance. There's no questioning that. And I got to give uh, respect where it's due. Bell had a good game as well. Stafford made some pretty impressive throws. But to me, more than anything else, it was about Chicago as a team. Uh, as I've said on many occasions, uh, the Chicago Bears have lost their soul. They sold their soul because this franchise traditionally has been built on a foundation of defense. And to me, all of that has been thrown by the wayside the minute that you hired Mark Tressman. As far as I'm concerned, this should be the only season left that Mark Tressman ever coaches in Chicago. He needs to go. His staff needs to go. They need to make sure they bring in somebody new. And I'm not saying everybody. I'm quite sure they have some very capable and competent coaches on Mark Tressman's staff. But his philosophy, his ideology as it pertains to football does not work for Chicago. Not that town, not that city, not that state, not that franchise, not its tradition, nothing. He had no business being the head coach there to begin with. And as far as I'm concerned, the person who hired him should be fired for hiring him to begin with. Because it was an idiotic move. Because anytime you're talking about going there, you know, you think about this, Skip Bayless. They've got, I understand you've got Martellus Bennett and Brandon Marshall and Alshon Jeffrey. You also have Matt Forte, who's pretty damn good. They rushed the ball around eight times last yesterday. What possible excuse can you have for doing that? Especially when Jay Cutler is your quarterback. Jay Cutler wasn't awful. He made some decent throws. But like I said to you, I'm not going to call him a loser because no one at this level to what it takes to get to this level is a loser, but he is unproductive. He is uninspiring. And as a result of that, he's not going to win you many football games. You do it in spite of him, not because of him. And if you have Matt Forte out of that backfield, you make sure you run that football a bit more. People associated with the tradition that is the Chicago Bears that's predicated on defense also understand ball control and getting it to somebody that can handle their business on that level. Mark Tressman doesn't believe in that. That's why he has to go. To me, yesterday's results were all a product of that just as much as it was a product of Megatron. The Chicago Bears are not very impressive, and it's primarily because of their system, their coach, and a quarterback they never had any business believing in in the first place. Detroit just benefited from all of that, which is what we saw yesterday afternoon. I agree with all of your big picture conclusions about the Chicago Bears. As you recall from yesterday's show, you irritated me into picking Jay Cutler to win this game only because somebody on this show has to occasionally defend Jay Cutler, who went to my school, Vanderbilt University. And I did think, Stephen A., that all things considered, Jay Cutler played reasonably well yesterday. And against that number one ranked Detroit defense, he did have Chicago up 14 to three early in the game. But we know what happened from that point on. Megatron is back. We just talked about, are the Seahawks back? I thought Megatron was all the way back yesterday. What was it, 11 catches for 146 yards? You spoke yesterday yes. and you have a couple times here recently about how he's just not right. He's just not the same. But he looked finally the same to me yesterday. So in the end, it boils down to Matt Stafford had Megatron and Jay Cutler did not. Brandon Marshall had a poor game by his standards with a couple of big drops yesterday. And then obviously Matt Stafford can lean on his defense, especially against the run. And Jay Cutler is constantly, desperately trying to overcome the pathetic defense that the Chicago Bears keep running out there onto the football field. So again, I get all your conclusions. Uh, I, I thought Detroit roared back and, and won uh, very convincingly. And 
I, I'm still hanging in, as I know you are. I think that's a wild card team. And yet the Bears need to check signals and start over. And I agree. They're stuck with the quarterback in the big picture, but a lot of other people well, let need me to go. This. But let me say this to you, Skip Bennett. They need to find a way to be unstuck with Jay Cutler because I don't care who you bring in. Jay Cutler is not a person that you want leading your franchise. I'm sorry. He just isn't. Uh, you know, put him on a mediocre team where losing is somewhat expected and anything that he does for you is, 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 is gold. It's good. Put him under that scenario, and I think that he could be relatively successful for you. But any place you put Jay Cutler where there are expectations, he is the accident waiting to happen via Midwest style. That, who, that is who Jay Cutler is. And when it comes to Tressman, he's even worse. I understand how lethal Detroit's defense is, especially against the run. But you don't give Matt Forte the ball five times. You just don't do that. You have to give it to him more than that, especially when you were up 14 to nothing. You had a cushion to sort of be a bit innovative, not to be as predictable offensively or whatever. Tressman is not the answer. I'm not questioning the man's football acumen. I'm not qualified to do that. I'm qualified to question results. The results are highly questionable, if not flat out pathetic. Chicago needs to clean house. And I'm telling you right now, if I'm ownership, I do it quick, fast, and in a hurry. They sold their souls. You do not with Soldier Field, with the Windy City, with the weather conditions that take place in November and December in Chicago. You do not hire a coach that is offensively oriented. You've got to be about defense in Chicago. To sit there and go the route of Trestman, you basically said we ain't thinking about football in November and December. And that's where it's flagrantly deficient on the part of management and somebody's head needs to roll for making that choice. Trestman is not even worthy of discussing. He's lucky he's getting a plane ticket home, okay? He needs to go. But management that put Trestman in there, I want to know who made that decision. Seriously. All right, well, bringing it back to this season, uh, after yesterday's game, according to...